What's up fam? I'm Bo with Beards and Brooks and it's time for another fly tying video. Today we're going to tie up a Rainbow Warrior variant with a little extra bling and flash to it, so let's do it. So for this extra flashy rainbow warrior, I'm using a fluorescent orange thread in 7D denier and a bead to match. Hook size and, and bead size and all that is up to you and what you're trying to achieve. This one is a size 14 nymph hook. And the first material we're going to use is this pearl crystal flash. I'm definitely not using all traditional materials here for this Rainbow Warrior, and for me, that's half the fun, tweaking things and making them my own. So feel free to use what you think is gonna be best. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie in this Crystal Flash as the tail. Two or three strands works just fine, and I'm hoping for about the half the length of the shank of the hook. I don't like my tails too long on these, just a little bit of extra flash and movement in the water. Uh, you can always adjust your length after you've only put a couple wraps in and go ahead and attach that all the way back down to the bend of the hook and then bring my thread back up to the bead. So I'll go ahead and trim off the excess material there and use it on my next fly. Next material up is some flashaboo. I'm going to use two or three strands of this thinner stuff to accomplish what I'm trying to do. Just cut two or three of those off nice and long so I can use them on the next couple flies that I tie. Let me know, do you guys like seeing the materials as I go or would you rather see them at the end or the beginning all in a group? Uh, leave the comments below and, and let me know what you think. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that. Uh, I always start it on the side towards me so that as I wrap it kind of ends up on top of the hook the way I want it. And I'm going to wrap all the way down to the bend of the hook again and then all the way back up. Creating a little taper there as I go. And if you want it a little bit flatter as you're building that taper, give it a counterclockwise turn and that'll let your thread lay a little flatter for you. I'll go ahead and put in some half hitches to allow me to put my thread in the bobbin holder. If you don't have a vise with a bobbin holder or a rotary vise, uh, you can definitely do this step just by wrapping um, by hand. I just like using the rotary feature on my vise. I think I can be more exact with my wraps uh, when I do that. Uh, in order to get these pieces of flashaboo to stick together for me, I'm going to twist them a little bit and kind of marry them as one material and then wrap them. Uh, try to avoid the point of that hook as you're going around so you're not damaging that material as you wrap it. And it gives it that nice effect with the orange peeking through and that flash. Go ahead and get that nice and secure. But do not cut the flashaboo off. We're going to use that for our wing case uh, here in a second. So go ahead and just pin it back down and create a little landing spot for our next material. Let's say about a third of the hook length. And we're going to use some dark shade rainbow scud dub to create a nice little thorax here. I like to put the dubbing on just a little piece at a time. Helps me control how much I'm putting on and, and the taper of the dubbing noodle. Especially with synthetics. I feel like you have to be a little bit more conservative with how much you're putting on at each time. And you can always add a little bit more. So 
So then you're going to go ahead and take that flashaboo and you're going to pull it back over the top and attach it up by the bead. This is a step that you could leave out if you wanted to. Just do the rainbow scud dub and, and leave it at that and not pull the flashaboo back over. Kind of up to you. Again, have fun with these patterns. Do what uh, you want to do. Experiment. A lot of it is just personal preference and confidence in what you're fishing. Make sure that that's uh, centered up on the top. And go ahead and cut off my excess material. And try to get my whip finisher here on the camera. And go ahead and put a couple whip finishes in there to finish off the fly. And you can always throw some head cement on there, give it a little bit more durability. I'm going to trim some of these stray dubbing fibers. Uh, again, that's just kind of more for the angler than it is for the fish, I feel like. And you'll see my tail isn't perfect there. That's okay. Again, uh, I'd rather tie and experiment and not have perfect flies than to spend so much time trying to perfect um, the exact way to do it. And there's our completed Rainbow Warrior. Cool guys, thanks for hanging out. If you got something out of this video, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and join us for our next one. Peace.